Welcome everybody to the Zoo Stars Animalistic Retro Game Channel and have I got a beauty for you. Finally we get a sequel to that fantastic PC game Project ZX uh, designed by Richard Langford uh, Productions. I shall leave a link in the description of this video where you can download this game free of charge but please consider a donation because he's done a lot of work on this I am one of the game testers and um, I think so far it's it's a very very good game it takes place after the prequel Project ZX and basically Sir Clive has gone into one of his outrages again I'm going to read some of this for you before it starts skipping it um, using a modified plan for his intended successor to his failed C5 Sir Clive works alone in the offices of his uh, of his own defunct company planning further revenge Basically what's happened is, with all the new homebrew games and the Spectrum coming out, his machine, and he's just in invented the, I think it's called the C6 washing machine, uh, with his mechanical, uh, manacle laugh, so basically uh, is capable of erasing the personalities of Spectrum sprites from websites and social media groups across the globe. So he's still trying to get his computer, his beloved invention, uh, which was designed to be placed in schools as a learning tool. He's still very upset about it. He went through life many years after Project ZX. Uh, happy, he invented the 128K toast rack and thought everyone's happy again. But because of social media and the new homebrew games and everyone wanting to play retro games, they're still using the Spectrum for gaming and he's not happy about it. So this washing machine is can suck out all the sprites and just rid of everything. Um, Clive ensured the brainwashing machine was guarded 24-7 by his hordes of drones, sprites, blah blah blah, I missed that bit, but basically as I said, um, it's been put out there to rid, rid the modern day sprites and uh, across all of the social medias and just get his revenge, he's very very bitter man. But there was one sprite still remaining, a sprite that never quite made it into the game. Until now, that is. And who is it? Who's that sprite called? Jetboot Joe. I'm not sure if that was a um, taken from Jetboot Jack, which I used to play on the Atari Android XL, uh, which was an absolute fantastic game. And it says here, in the Spectrum heyday, the work never came for poor old Joe. Over the years, he had some work done to try and keep up. Pixel density surgery and colour injections for the 16-bit era, vector implants for the systems of today, but still that starring role had eluded him. Until now. So this is the only thing, the only sprite that can save the day and once again defeat the manic Sir Clive. And a traditional spectrum loader there, which was a nice little touch. So this takes uh, place many, 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 many years after the last game, but in, as far as real life programming concerned, it's come out quite quick, within a year. Um, so unfortunately, I didn't get in as much involved in the playtesting as I did with the, with the prequel, but I've still got a little bit in there. Um, and I've yet to play this, so this is new to me as well. It is now officially released. As I said, I will include the link under this video you can go straight to his homepage and you can download it so here we go project zx2 jetboot joe now let's uh, let's just see a couple of screens before i um carry on the game about let's see what's about uh the this is a jetboot this is jetboot joe an 8-bit sprite who never quite made it into the in the glory days of the Z zx spectrum until now of course how joe to seek out the evil clive sinclair's c6 brainwashing machine blast away the sprites under the villainous influence and restore gaming glory to the spectrum zine collect id cards dropped by the spectrum sprites to add stickers to your collection that's basically i'll show you that in a minute that's, you can uh, uh, add things to your sticker book which is pretty pretty cool look out for the horus bots on your journey pop their balloons with a quick blast and they will reward you with a nice treat to help you on your way the various levels of clive's machines are sprinkled with shiny collectibles gather as many as you can to rack up those points and maybe if you gather enough uh, result in a nice trophy or a special reward 
which is pretty good. There's also a secret level as well, but you have to find it yourself. You can fully controllable with the Xbox and PS3 controller. I'm using a PS3. And it's programmed by Richard Langford. Game design story by John Davis and Richard Langford. Spectrum level uh, screens and additional graphics. Andy Green. Bonus level graphics and Jet Boot. Joe Spectrum graphics, Mark Jones. And modern graphics, Richard Langford. Playtesting, John Davis and Darren Payne. Darren Payne being me. Yay. Right, uh, let's have a look, collection, there's a collection, so music collection, you'll gradually collect many of the um, tunes as you go through the game, I won't play any now, and sticker collection, there, here we go, basically along the way you can collect all sorts of bonuses, just like the first game, it's really really cool, very very clever. But we're not going to talk too much about that because I know you're dying to see some of the game. And I am going to feature this on my live stream which is on the 15th of April at 7pm on my Zoo Stash channel. So please pop by for that. That's during a MAME edition. I shall feature this game. Right, let's have a look now. Uh, introduction, we've seen that. Options, yes you can choose keys or joystick which is pretty good. So let's start the game shall we? Yes. And you can select... There's 10 levels, but we're going to start off with that level, of course, the original first level. Now, this is going to be very tricky for me. I'm probably going to die a lot because, unlike the first game, um, this is a hover. It's one of those hover games which uh, you have to keep your finger on the up all the time. Oh, so it's very tricky because I'm, I'm used to playing the... Uh, with the keys, but I'm playing with the uh, X, uh, what am I talking about, the um, PlayStation 3 controller. I don't know how many levels you get, I think you get about five or six. So it's in a very PC world at the moment, and that will of course go, after the first level, it will all go retro like the first game, we get pixelated, Manic Miner, look the old Manic Miner screen. mobile bloody phones yeah so Clive is basically not happy again and many years he was content he got over his anger from the first game um, but unfortunately with modern day homebrew games everyone still wants to play his machine for the um, for the games and he's not happy so uh, he can't let go he's very happy unhappy so Clive not happy at all So hopefully we get past level one. And as I said, I've not really played this game properly yet, so I don't know what extra stuff Richard has thrown in here. Um, so it's pretty cool. Oh, look at that, it's my Zeus Daz logo, bless him. He stuck that in there. That's my YouTube page. And there's another Zeus logo. Oh, well, thank you, Richard. That's very uh, cool of you. I'm quite honored. So, I'm crashing into bloody everything here, because I haven't played the game properly yet. Until I slap that bloody cheat code in. <laughs> well, first life gone. So you get the wow, woohoo! But it's very different from the first game. As, as I said, you're not... You're not um, just simply shooting. You've got to hover as well, and that's done by pressing one of the other buttons or just up on the joypad. So it can be very tricky, bit difficult to get used to. Oh, dead again. Now, I haven't got to level 2, but as I said, I haven't played this properly. Got you. Oh, that's the thing. Now, Unlike the first game, you, can, you sort of take your time, but this, you're forever... Oh, here's the, uh, I think this is the uh, middle of the boss. Unlike the first uh, game, you have to keep up with the screen, otherwise you die. And I think that's supposed to be the Spectrum next. Oh, and there's the old uh, ships from Project ZX1, the one that you control. <laughs> no, it's very tricky, you've got to keep up all the time. It's, it, it, the moment you go off the screen, you die. So it's very, uh, 
I'm not used to these games. I never never actually did like um, hovering games. I was never any good at them. Oh. So we've almost got it now. Just a few more hits. Oh god, there's more some minor wheelies. So I'm going to show you... Oh, another life gone. I'm going to show you uh, level 2. Yes, if I get to it. But as you can see, I need a lot of practice. You think being a playtester, you, you get... There we go. You get a lot of practice in, but you actually don't. So I'm going to try and uh, get to level 2. And if I don't, I shall uh, play again with keyboard. I think I had more success with the keys. Oh, go away you. Oh, go away. So you can run on these things as well, which is a nice little touch. Oh, and Sir Clive's, um, here we go. First level. So this is a machine that sucks everything in. I've got to avoid that. Uh. Oh dear, oh dear. Game over. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to have another quick go uh, because I'm used to playing with the um, keys. I'm actually not very good with the joypad. I haven't had enough practice. Well, anyway, there we go. So let's try that again. We're going to play with keys and you can program them. Right, options. There we go. Select game keys. Perfect. That's what we want. So... I'm going to go, uh, yes, reset, select keys, that's what we want, of course we do. Oh, wrong button. See, I'm not used to the menu yet. This is all very new to me. Set game keys, there we go. Right, up, down, left, right, fire. Yes, it is. Perfect. All right, let's try that again. Let's try that again. Yes, I find it much easier with the keys, actually. So, uh, yes, it's... I might actually play both these games back to back at the weekend. <laughs> uh, over my week off, I mean. Bit of fun. Very clever game. But I'm, I'm surprised how quick it came out. And uh, I did a lot more playtesting for the group, for the people. But uh, I was glad I got involved somewhat in this. So yes, do do download this. It is free. And uh, at least. Um, donate something because uh, he bloody well deserves it. It's a, it's a very, very clever game and a lot of time and effort has gone in. Yeah, it's very... You've got to get used to controls because it's a constant hover game. everything now. <laughs> oh, that's alright. Took them out. So there's going to be many, many more surprises. I'm pretty sure there is a secret level. Bonus levels. Oh, I'll tell you what, there's bullets everywhere. Now in the last game the joystick gave you bonuses, but in this one it actually uh, takes you out. Oh poor, blinding, vicious. No, actually, uh, you do get thumb cramp. Thank you. So you, you just got to get used to it. In fact, in a minute, I might swap, swap over quickly to joystick. You can do that, joypad. That's 
what I wanted. So I'm going to quickly do that now. <laughs> there you go, you can swap over to keys and joypad, that's very useful. Now hopefully I'll do better this time. So basically what happened after the first game is that uh, after Sir Clive was defeated, he was all beaten up and upset and everything and feeling sorry for himself. He invented the 128k plus one toast rack to every kid's enjoyment and everything was happy again and felt redeemed with, the, with his, uh, um, with the kids that bought his machine. But many years later, with all the new technology and emulators and apps and all that kind of thing, these 8-bit machines had another life, another phase, and um, but sadly, once again, they're used for games. And uh, he, he can't get over his past anger. <laughs> so once again, he's unleashed his hordes of sprites to sort you out. I said this game is available now. Double knockout. And it does put you in a safe place as well. It gives you a chance to um, to uh, land in a safe place when you die. Okay, get rid of you. Right, hopefully I have a better chance this time. There we go. That's what I want. So that's his Sinclair Research Building. the steam. Yeah, yeah, I'm confident I'll get past this level. I'll show you a bit of the next one. And now, there we go. It's trying to suck me in. It's very difficult to get away from it. Right, there we go. Oh, got the bubbles now. I forgot about them. You think playtesting, I'd remember these things, but believe me, <laughs> Richard could also uh, throw in so many uh, last second surprises. There we go. Level one done. Level one done. Bronze trophy. Initiating data cable access link. Particle separation and retrofication commencing. So now Jebu Joke is becoming pixelated. We're going back into retro world, pixelation world, to do battle. And there we go. So now pixel density degradation complete. So now you play the character looking like that. The sprites in here that Joe must free are all from 82 and 3, so 98203. So here we go, Chucky Egg, which sadly didn't feature in the last game because it, it just didn't work out. But lad is right, it's nice to see Chucky Egg. Ultimate classic, that. So you've got to keep up the screen. There's a bloody duck. You have to keep up the screen, otherwise you're going to die. Oh, there's Chucky Egg. Let's shoot him. Now, if I remember right, this is the uh, yes. Oh, damn. That Blade Alley game. So you've got around a hundred Spectrum games again that you've got to do battle in. I could have got that. So the more bonuses you collect, the more bonuses you'll get at the end. More secrets. Ah, oh, damn, I lost the life there. Off the screen. Right, let's grab that. Right, I've got a card. I've got an inlay card. That will go in my sticker album. We can play a bit more of this. We don't get So here's one of the sort of guardians. Oh. 
Oh, he took a chunk off me there, didn't he? There we go. Now into Donkey Kong World. Got you. So you don't have time to think. You're, you're constantly racing. Right, let's grab that. What have we got? Yeah, I've got the Donkey Kong card. Alright, just play another minute more. But it's very useful to swap between keys and... Um... Oh, we've got a bigger weapon now. Another card, let's grab that. It's very useful to be able to swap between keys and joypad. If I remember right, we got, if I get that far, we've got Pogo World coming up, which is basically Cuba. So we stop there. There we go, it's Pogo. Very clever. There's a hundred, over a hundred games, so it's, it's going to be exciting for me to play this through. But I highly recommend you download it. And we're going to call it, I think we're die just here. Because I don't want to give too much away. So you can actually walk on these bits as well. But you're in a constant race to not fall off the screen. weapons as well, which is good. Right, I don't want to give too many secrets away, I don't want to spoil it for you. I will be doing a long play of this, once me and David, uh, sorry, once me and Richard um, agree when is a good time, because obviously he wants you to enjoy the game without seeing all of it to begin with. Right, let's die there. I think I've got one more life, we'll die there as well. And one more. Game over. There we go. So I hope you enjoyed that project uh, ZX2 review and gameplay. I'm also going to include the official trailer of this game coming up after this video. So stay tuned. And uh, once I shut up talking, you can watch it. I will include the link, as I said, in the description. Please go to his site. You can download Project ZX1 and 2 free of charge. There's also other games on there that he's designed. They're all free, but please consider um, donating some kind of payment to him because it has resulted in a lot of work. It's a very clever game again. And uh, you're going to enjoy trying to go after the mad, angry Sir Clive again and see if we can deal another victory for all those retro gamers and another defeat at the hands of Sinclair. As much as we love him, he's out for us in this game. He's not happy. He can't get over his anger. And you've got to sort it before that lethal washing machine takes over the whole world. And I'll leave you with that. So enjoy the trailer coming up. And thank you for tuning in for Project ZX2. I will feature that as again in this week's live stream. And uh, it's been a joy to play test it. And it's a brilliant game. Just takes a bit of practice getting used to that hovering mode. But once you get there, it's a very enjoyable game. Very, very clever. So that's enough for me. Enjoy the trailer. Please download it. And as I said, please consider a donation to Richard. That's Richard Langford Productions site. Please go to that. Click it. Easy to download. And uh, away you go. Thank you very much for tuning in. And for now... Zeus out and enjoy the trailer of Project ZX2.